versus somebody like me, like my stomach skin. It's like, you see, like, look at this. It's like, like, oh. you know what I mean? Like, wow, that's what crazy. am I going to do with that? So when you have loose skin like that, it's not saran wrap shrinked over the muscles. It's hard to see those cross durations. So my body fat is quite low, but because my loose skin, it's kind of like, you don't see it as much now that I'm like 45 years of age. Could you do that in your twenties? Like grab your skin like that? And like. What would you say is the first muscles that go when you like get older? Like when you, when you're a man, your forties, like you're my age. And, and is it different if you're natural or enhanced? What do you think about that? Like, what would be the first, like, is it arms, legs, abs? Just anecdotally from what I've seen, like, it's not like I'm there to be able to tell you personally, but legs I see in bodybuilders going pretty, like, quickly in their 40s, it seems like that's the first thing to fade. Um, yeah, like, that would be the first body part, I would say, goes away. And then, I don't know, the limbs in general just don't seem to, like, fare that well with age. I don't know. I agree. It's like the arms and legs. I was going to say the extremities. And for me, what's odd is my legs. It's, I haven't noticed it, but my arms definitely, I've noticed them get smaller. Or it's harder to keep that kind of muscle. Everything else is kind of easy. I would say my abs look not as good as when I was younger, but I think that's just from getting bigger. Like when I was in the 150s show ready, my abs just were tighter, more oblique, just a tighter stomach. And as I got into taking PDs, I found that my whole body grew so my abs just never looked this tight but they're still as lean but they don't have that same like crisp look when i'm lean yeah i think as you get older too like visceral fat buildup and stuff that's not necessarily like things things of like age in general are going to cause it to be harder to look as like dialed in everywhere too like certain body parts won't respond as well and maintain their size like legs but core i think is going to be like pretty impossible to maintain like what you look like at 25 when you're, you know, 65, things are just gonna you know, build up loose skin, visceral fat, stuff like that, that might, you know, impair your look. But that's just wear and tear of cell cellular degradation, I guess, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, abs as you get older, like what six year old has that great abs of like a 20 year old where you didn't have to do a sit up and you just looked amazing just from having low body fat levels. But as you get older, it looks not as impressive. So I've definitely noticed that on myself. I don't have as great of a stomach as I did like 20, 25 years ago. Mm. Okay. And steroids wise, once I took them, my body got leaner at different rates. Like my calves in particular, who I never had those like cross going up and down. My calves get like ridiculously lean when I'm in contest shape. But when I was natural, never had that. But when I took PDs, even in my off season, arguably my cast were leaner off season than on stage when I was natural. So I have no idea why. I don't know what happens. I mean, are you aware of any reasons why that would occur? Like literally different body fat distribution from taking PDs. Um, only thing I could think of is that they grew a lot and then how much muscle they have is changing the look of the body composition on that particular body part. That would be my only speculation. Like if your arms, like for example, if you're a guy who's shredded, who hasn't started working out, you don't have very obvious vascularity on your arms as much as you do, even at 15% body fat, when you've gained like 40 pounds of muscle you're going to have way more vascularity, even though the arm itself is like fatter. Yeah. yeah. So. There's a bigger circumference, a bigger muscle. You can see the fibers that much more. Unfortunately, my calves didn't grow that much. So uh, <laughs> that unfortunately isn't know. the case. They're still not big, but they do get lean, but I haven't been able to put that size on, but like I'll compare myself to like a Johnny Shreve who's every muscle he has is bigger than mine. Like he's 225 pounds at five, seven, like, you know, six weeks out but he doesn't have that shredded calf look. But even with higher pinched body fat, he looks really lean because the muscles are popping through the skin. Like when you have 21 inch arms, even though there's that certain layer of fat, you see the muscle right through it. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's like some people that's just like, I think people say like you have stubborn fat, but it's like, I, I don't stubborn know. Stubborn skin sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You like know, some people just, just their back, even though they're like diced, everywhere they'll turn around and it's like huh you like didn't get in shape and it's like i don't know maybe it's just your skin is like 
bad for body thicker bars. skin literally or yeah. how saran wrapped how tight is it my skin is super loose and super like just you can just stretch you know what i mean like it's it can be just pulled easily but other people i'll try to test their body fat i can't grab it like my tricep i can pinch it and roll it around other people wow. i'm like it, it almost like they're flexing and i'm like trying to do this and i'm like relax yeah. your arm and they're mm -hmm. relaxed and i can't get the pinch so that it's almost shrink wrapped over the muscle and then it pops through and you can see those cross striations versus somebody like me like my stomach skin it's like you see like look at this it's like like Holy you know God. what i mean like wow, what crazy. am i going to do with that so when you have loose skin like that it's not saran wrap shrinked over the muscles hard to see those cross striations so my body fat is quite low but because my loose skin it's kind of like you don't see it as much now that i'm like 45 years of age could you do that in your 20s like grab your skin like that and like you move not as much it's gotten looser and, and it's not like i bulked and it's not like i was 250 pounds i've never been like really overweight i just had kind yeah. of like stretchy skin to start with even when i was younger but it's certainly stretchier now that i've gotten older than when i was younger and if i do have a little bit more fat it's not as stretchy because the fat underneath is kind of filling that out like when i was in my like the heaviest i ever was, was just over 230 when i was that yeah. big the skin was certainly tighter around 